Okay, so one thing that I did forget to mention in our last video of the taking of alginate impressions is at the end, once you're done taking your impressions, it's really, really important to clean up. So you wanna clean up your bowls. You never wanna leave any alginate left in your bowls. You wanna take your spatula. You wanna sweep out all that alginate that's left, dump it into the trash, and then you wanna get a damp paper towel to get the excess. So damp paper towel, you never wanna do this over the sink. You don't wanna get alginate into the sink because that is going to make a mess and it's gonna clog the sink up. So damp paper towel to wipe off your spatula into the trash and wipe out your bowl. So you wanna have a nice, clean, tidy area. They also grade you on that for your board exam. Um, another thing is when you're done taking your impressions, if you're not gonna be pouring them right away, make sure you wrap them in a damp paper towel. This is gonna prevent them from distorting. So that alginate will dry out you want to keep it moist until you're ready to pour it up with stone. Um, so we're going to pour ours up now, but I did wrap those as a demonstration. So what you want to do when you go to pour up your impressions, you do want to wear gloves, of course. Now we did take our impressions on the type on, so we don't have any cross contamination, but it, you know, we want to practice as if we're, we took them on a person. So Always want to have gloves on when you're touching your paper towels, your um, impressions with your alginate. So what you want to do is you want to get a bowl. You want to get your stone. We're going to pour up both bars at the same time. Now for your purposes, for the state board exam, you only have to do one, but I'm just going to demonstrate both. So you want to get your stone in a bowl. Now you want to get quite a bit of stone. So I'm gonna use this little scooper here. We need enough for both arches. It's gonna save us a lot of time if we do them together, okay? So once you're here, now you can start adding your water. Now, we recommend using a metal spatula for this. We use plastic for our alginates um, impressions. We're gonna use stone. We're gonna use the metal for our stone. So you can use the wider one or the smaller one. I prefer the smaller one. Some assistants or hygienists prefer the wider one. It's your choice. So what you want to do, you want to add water very slowly as you go. Cold water again, one of the most important things. There is no measurement for this. So you just have to eyeball it as you go. So if you end up doing too much water in your stone, you have a problem. So you have to really take your time, incorporate this water in. You can go from what looks extremely dry to extremely soupy in one second. So that's what you don't want. You want a nice peanut butter consistency that is not gonna leak or be real liquidy. So once you get to this point and you're not really seeing a lot of powder left, you wanna make sure that you mix it all together. So this may be good. As you can see, it looks dry still, but now we're getting to a pretty good consistency here. Once you start to add more water and it gets real liquidy, then you have to do more stone, then more water and try to find that consistency that you're looking for. So this is looking pretty good. You can see it's not dripping off my spoon, but if I turn my bowl over, it's not gonna fall out. That's what you want, okay? Because once we vibrate it, it is gonna thin a little bit anyway, and you guys will be able to see that. So what you wanna do, scrape the stone off your spatula, kind of get it down in there, come over to the vibrator here, and you're gonna turn your vibrator on high, okay? set your bowl and if you can see how that all kind of came down see all those bubbles surfacing and popping I'm pressing down with pretty firm pressure here to get these bubbles to surface and pop that's what you want you want to get those air bubbles out of there so that you don't have to worry about your end result or your model having bubbles so you can see quite a bit surfacing now you're never going to get every bubble so we couldn't sit here and to get every bubble out or else we'll never be able to have time to pour our models out before our stone hardens. So you're going to kind of do your best, try to get out those big bubbles. 
when there's not as many surfacing, you can start with your models. So what you want to do, we're going to see which one we're going to do here first. Either one, it really doesn't matter. Okay, we're going to start with the mandibular. So what you want to do, you want to get a little bit of stone on your spatula. A little bit. You're going to hold it on the corner and you're going to let that flow. Add a little bit more. Gonna let that flow all the way around. I don't know if you can see that giant bubble in there, but that should pop as we go here. So you want to see it flow down into all those grooves. See how those bubbles popping along here? Okay, we got it almost all the way around. We're gonna add more to where we started. We're gonna let it flow all the way around till we fill this occlusal surface here. Okay. Have some bubbles there. I'm applying a lot of pressure with my fingers here. Now that looks pretty good. It looks like we're pretty filled in. So now I'm gonna to start to add more. A little bit thicker here. Gonna be my last go around before I build up my base. Since this is a little bit liquidy, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set this aside here and I'm gonna fill up my base on my maxillary quickly. So same thing here. I'm gonna let it flow. flow all the way around. You don't want to start adding to both sides. Starting to thicken a little bit. I'm going to add a little bit more here to try to get all the way to that last molar. bubbles out looking pretty good one more go around here all right now I'm ready to build my bases so when you build your base what you want to do I'm gonna start back here with this one is you just want to add stone all the way around here so here, see how I'm swiping down? If you swipe, that's gonna kind of build that wall upward so that your stone isn't wrapping around your tray. If your stone starts to wrap around your tray, it's gonna be very difficult once this hardens to be able to separate the two. That's what can cause kind of that breaking, cracking of your stone model or your end result. So I'm gonna build a nice base here. This is perfect consistency. You can see it's not running over the edge. So this is exactly what we want here. Okay, once I'm done with that, I'm gonna get my little base here. This is what I'm gonna put my model on. So I'm gonna put one here, and I'm gonna let that sit up. Now I'm gonna build my model, or my base for my maxillary. So same thing, you're gonna swipe. So we're not just piling it on top here. I, I prefer the swiping because that is gonna help it lay a lot nicer and build that wall. Okay. Swiping and gently pulling around here. Okay. Once we have our base, same thing. We're gonna use the same tray both can fit and you're gonna flip it upside down. So again, it pulls away from the tray. Once that hardens, it's a lot easier to separate. And that's it. So now, this is also really important. I'm gonna show the cleanup for this. All this stone that's left, we did pretty good with our estimate. We had a little extra, better to have a little too much than not enough. Never go to the sink with this. This will harden in the drain and back up all of the water, all of the, um, the septic system. So what you wanna do, 
you want to scrape out this stone right into the trash. Okay. So get your excess. Again, don't wait for this. Once this hardens, very, very, very hard to get out. You will have to soak your bowl with your stone. Get some paper towels, get them wet, start to wipe out your bowl. This is gonna come out very easily, always over the trash. So this is gonna be your best cleanup. Use this for my spatula, nice and clean. I'm gonna use the rest for my bowl. So really there's no reason to even put your bowl towards the sink at all. Even with this, you don't even wanna put that in the sink. Just get some paper towels, get them wet. That's gonna get the rest of that. So I'm just gonna wipe. And then your bowl's pretty much clean. And then you can use a dry one to just dry it out. Since we were using our alginate impressions from a person, then we do want to use a disinfectant wipe. So I would take a disinfectant wipe and I would wipe all of this out to make sure that um, it's nice and clean and sterile. Now, what we wanna do next is we're gonna wait about 30, 30 minutes, give or take, for these to dry. Once they dry, then we're gonna tear them apart um, from our trays.